Hello and welcome from France. We are here for the 2014 Paris Motor Show. Yes, this is of course one of the biggest, grandest and most significant events on the automotive calendar. Buzz is that this year's show has some crazy concepts, some mad sports cars and also quite a few cars that are bound for India. So without any further delay, let's go check it out. Let's start with home favourite Renault, which had a massive display. Now Renault's big unveil at the Paris Motor Show this year was of the new Espas. Now the Espas is not a name Indians will be familiar with, but this is the car that started the MPV segment a few decades back. In the latest form is 250 kgs lighter than the older version and also 20% more fuel efficient. Now, it's not headed to India, but there will be a Renault MPV that's headed our way. It's called the Logi and you'll see it on our roads sometime very soon. Don't be confused by the Dacia badge on the bonnet of this one because in India it will be sold as the Renault Logi. To give you a very short introduction, it's a 7-seat MPV that's quite a bit larger than the Ertiga and the Mobilio. That means it should be more spacious as well. It's got 7 seats. It will come with a 1.5 litre diesel engine and given Indian buyers newfound love affair with MPVs, this could just be Renault's next big hit after the duster. From just across the English Channel, there was Mini, which had an all-new version of its iconic hatchback. Now, Mini may be a niche player in the Indian car market, but this car really has the potential to boost sales. Why so? The answer lies in the two doors in the back. This is the new 5-door Mini. To give you a brief, it's about 16 centimeters longer than the 3-door car and 8 centimeters of which goes into the wheelbase. Now, as you can tell, the Mini 5-door isn't all that uh, spacious. It's, uh, it's got these small windows. It's not very generous on uh, thigh support or headroom. So it's probably a place best for small children in the back. And, uh, but if you have to really think about it, this is a way to share the mini go-kart experience with a few more people. But for those looking for, well, a few more seats, Swedish car maker Volvo had something very special too. One of the undisputed stars of the Paris Motor Show 2014 was the Volvo XC90. There's a lot of curiosity surrounding Volvo's large SUV and it's not hard to see why. It looks very nice, it carries Volvo's latest design language very well. It's in fact even built on Volvo's latest SPA platform. Now there's a greater focus on refinement, luxury and equipment. All three things which will work very well for the XC90 in India. The car for India will come with a 2-litre engine with 225 bhp. It will be shown in India in February, although deliveries will start later in the year. Looking at it in the flesh, I must say it's very exciting and I can't wait for it. Speaking of exciting SUVs, one name that crops into mind is the BMW X6. There's a new one now and it was there at the Paris Motor Show too. Now, when the original BMW X6 came out, there were a lot of people in the world who said there's no real place for part SUV and part coupe. Well, did BMW and the X6 prove the world wrong? The car, Crom SUV, has gone on to become a massive seller across the world and even in India, it's been doing quite well. Well, this is the latest generation of the car. It retains the classic part SUV, part coupe profile and it looks rather smashing in the flesh. It's got that fused look that we've seen earlier on the X5 and the good news is that it's coming to India and it's coming rather soon. The 3 litre diesel will be the mainstay of the X6 in the Indian range, but there could be the 4.4 litre twin turbo as well. But the XC90 and X6 weren't the only SUVs at Paris. Sangyong also showed off two compact SUV concepts that give us an idea of what's to come in the not too distant future. Sanyong has become quite a household name in India thanks to the Mahindra connection and of course the Rexton. However, overseas the company has a number of other products in their model range, such as the Corando, which is a smaller SUV. 
However, now the company plans to go smaller still. And the first preview of that is this XIV Adventure concept. There actually have been a few more concepts that previewed this in the past, but this is the closest one to production we've seen yet. The production car will be about 4.2 meters long, which is about the same size as the Renault Duster. And we think that will be its competition when it goes into production. While the new Sangyong is almost a certainty for India, what's still unclear is if Maruti will bring in Suzuki's latest SUV. Now you may not recognize the look of this car, but I'm pretty sure you'll recognize the name. It is Suzuki's new Vitara, and the fact that there isn't the word Grand in its name is a very crucial factor. You see, this is a lot smaller than the old Grand Vitara that we knew in India. And that car, well, in both its guises, didn't really taste a whole lot of success. This new car is about the size of a Renault Duster or a Nissan Tirano and it's likely to be powered by the company's 1.6 litre petrol and diesel engines along with its well-renowned 4x4 system called All Grip. Now this car is not a priority for India but if Maruti Suzuki decides to bring it down it'll be interesting to see if it will be third time lucky for the Vitara in India. Among the other SUVs of interest was the facelifted Honda CR-V. Shown as the CR-V prototype, it points to what the updated CR-V will look like. You can expect restyled headlamps with new LED running lights, a different grille and a more aggressive bumper. A refreshed tailgate and new bumper bring up the rear. We expect the updates to be part of the package when the diesel CR-V with a 118bhp 1.6 litre engine is finally launched in India in 2015. Meanwhile, amidst all the Euro-specific metal at the Volkswagen stand, one car did catch our eye and it will definitely be coming to India. Behind me is the new Volkswagen Passat and yes, it does look a bit familiar and that's no coincidence. This car is aiming to move even more upmarket than the current model. That means it will cost even more than the already expensive last generation Passat. But then it will also pack in a lot more luxury and technology. There's adaptive LED headlamps, the tiles have been replaced by a screen, and there's also a whole lot of new driving aids as well. It's certainly enough to worry BMW, Audi and Mercedes. The car will be powered once again by a 2-litre diesel engine, but this time there is the option of a 240 bhp odd twin-turbo version. Let's hope Volkswagen brings that one to India. We are only halfway through our list of the most exciting cars from the show floor, but unfortunately that's all we have time for this week. Tune in next week for part 2 of our coverage of the 2014 Paris Motor Show.